A man was shot and killed in Greektown after a disagreement about holding the elevator. Detroit Now's Gino Vici spoke with the victim's family, who's calling on the suspect to turn himself in. I really can't sleep. I haven't been sleeping. Rosalind Hurst and her family are devastated after her son, 29 year old Ariel Harris, was shot and killed. Hurst says she got the frantic call from her daughter in law early Sunday morning. They were panicking and, and shocked, and she just kept screaming, He's been shot, he's been shot. Hurst says Ariel was a loving father of two young boys and says every morning her son called her to check on her and says the last few days have been rough, not getting her morning call from her son. It's, it's just seems so unreal. Her says when she got that phone call her son had been shot, she hurried to the hospital. Maybe about 30 minutes into being, getting, at, getting to receive a hospital, um, we found out that he didn't make it. According to Detroit police, Ariel was shot after a disagreement outside of an elevator inside of the International Banquet Center in Greektown. Police have not released the suspect's name, but did release this video of the person they're looking for, and he's still on the run. Hurst has this message for her son's killer. I don't understand how you could go to sleep at night. She also has this message for the suspect's mother. Mother to mother, if you've seen, I know you've seen your son's face on the news, on social media, please have your son turn himself in. If you have any information about the man seen here in the video, you're asked to call police. In Detroit, I'm Gino Vici.